Welcome to another edition of Animated Times. On this episode, Celeb's Last Words That Shook Us to the Core. I'm Andrew Caravella. Find me on social media, handle on air Andrew. All right, guys, let's go. Now, when the great philosopher Karl Marx was about to die, he told us that his last words only a fool who hasn't said enough in his lifetime. But hey, not all of us have the luxury of knowing when our last words will be, right? Okay, so some people's last words may be the values they have believed in for their entire life. Like our music legend, Bob Marley, who said, money can't buy life as his last words. Some who were rude the entire life suddenly become polite, like Marie Antoinette. Have you ever thought of what your last words will be? Well, let's not worry about that now. Let us look at the last words of 10 celebs that left us shaken and sad. Brace yourself. First up, Paul Walker. So Paul Walker was loved by everyone for his role in the famous Fast and Furious series. Ironically, the gorgeous actor at the young age of 40 died in a car crash. The fans of the Fast and Furious series were crushed by this loss. According to Walker's friend, he last heard him saying, let's go for a drive to his driver, Roger Rodas. They had hopped into the Porsche and only never to return. But him and his driver, Roger Rodas, they died on the spot as the Porsche they were driving crashed into a light pole. Maybe it's okay that he died doing what he loved, huh? Up next, James Dean. So here is another sad fatal car crash. James Dean was a stunning Hollywood icon who died at the age of 24 on September 30th, 1955. James Dean had stopped for gas at the Blackwell Corner Grocery before the fatal accident. A little later, he was killed in a head-on collision where a college student, Donald Turnipseed, had veered into the lane in which Dean was driving. His friend, Rolf Wooderick, who was in the passenger seat, survived. He later reported that Dean's last words were, that guy's gotta stop, he'll see us. And that was about turnip seed. Well, we all would have loved to see how this young actor would shine in the industry. Up next, Leonard Nimoy. The pop culture icon Leonard Nimoy played the most famous character of Mr. Spock in Star Trek. The actor lived by his famous dialogue, lived long and prosper, and lived until 83, until he was taken away from us by a disease. Sadly, we do not really know about his last spoken words, but the great man had said it all in his last tweet, and it's quite touching. Quote, life is like a garden. Perfect moments can be had, but not preserved, except in memory. LLAP, AKA, live long and prosper. Beautiful words, don't you think? And now let's take a look at Michael Jackson. So the King of Pop has given us great music and some serious dance goals. He died in 2009, leaving the whole world in tears. Apparently the death was due to a mix of medication that became fatal and it was given by his very own doctor, Conrad Murray. So Murray told about Jackson's last words in a police interview. According to him, Jackson had said, can I have some milk? Please, please just make me sleep. Doesn't matter what time I get up, I can't function if I can't sleep. Now that is when Murray chose to give propofol an anesthetic that killed Jackson. We all would have wanted a happier ending for our pop king. Next up, Heath Ledger. So everybody loved Heath Ledger's performance as a Joker. It even got him an Oscar, but sadly he himself didn't get to see it. He died six months before the movie's release due to an accidental drug overdose. His father said in an interview that the actor was sleep deprived in his last few days and that his last words were to his sister over the phone. She had warned him that taking sleeping pills with prescription drugs is not advisable for which he had replied, quote, look, it'll be fine. You know, I just need to get some sleep. He never woke up from that sleep. We all really wish he had listened to his sister. Up next, Princess Diana. So the graceful Princess Diana died at the age of 36 due to a fatal car crash. According to a firefighter, the Princess of Wales was very much alive and didn't have any blood on her when they got to the scene. She seemed to have suffered only minor injuries. Reportedly, her last words were, my God, what happened? Everybody who saw her there thought she would live. But to everybody's dismay, the princess went into cardiac arrest and died at the hospital. Up next, Chris Farley. He was an SNL superstar and a comedian who made us all laugh, but in his real life, he had a hard time fighting his inner demons. The genius comedian had a history of struggle with drug abuse and had even been in and out of rehab, but he couldn't stay away from the deadly drugs. He died due to cocaine and morphine overdoses after a four-day drinking and drug binge. 
Heidi Hauser, a former exotic dancer, is believed to be the last person to see him alive. Farley had met her at a party and told her that he had been up for three to four days and wanted to go all out before the filming of his next movie. His last words were, please don't leave me, and he said these to Hauser as she left him alone to sleep in his apartment. Turns out, it is true that people who are very funny outside might be very sad inside. Up next, the king of rock and roll, Elvis Presley. The hugely successful singer-actor Elvis died at the age of 42 due to the abuse of prescription pills that led to cardiac arrest. The king of rock and roll reportedly had been a serial abuser of prescription pills. On the night he died, he seemed to have had sleeping trouble. Ginger Alden, Presley's fiance at the time, was with him. She wrote in her autobiography that Presley's last words were, I'm going into the bathroom to read. When he didn't come out for a long time, she broke into the bathroom and found him dead. And now Ryan Dunn, because he's known for his role in the world famous Jackass movie. He died in a fatal car crash that killed both him and his production assistant. The news left his friend and co-star Bam Margera shocked. Bam said in an interview that Dunn's text was stopping for a beer, be there when I can. Through investigation, it was found that Dunn was drunk and he was driving at a very high speed. All right, are you feeling upset now? Because here is the last celebrity, Gia Alamond. She was amazing. Gia Alamond, a former contestant of The Bachelor, attempted suicide on August 14th, 2013. But her boyfriend, Ryan Anderson, had reached her house before she died. She was admitted to the hospital, but unfortunately died two days later due to brain death. Before the incident, she had an argument with her boyfriend about being unfaithful, and he had then dropped her off at the apartment saying that he doesn't love her anymore. Her last words were in a suicide note that read, Mom gets everything. All right, so which of these celebrities' last words shook you to the core? Tell us in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.